We do space capsule. They bring basically cargo up to station and cargo down. Uh, it will be the first time in Europe that uh, we'll have a capsule that can be reused. Our mission is to make space exploration accessible to anyone. So we want to make it affordable, be the cheapest in the market. We want to make it sustainable. We are the first in the world to fly with green propellant. And we want to make it cooperative. I get to do what I love, which is basically building rocket engines. This is where I want to be. This is what I love to do. I like to see myself as a problem solver. That is what engineering should be. Help society, uh, trying to advance human knowledge. Well, what is super important is, of course, the engines. You will need to be able to fly to station. The second technology is the re-entry, right? We need to come back uh, in the atmosphere. So it's about guidance, making sure that we can control the, the, the capsule perfectly. It's also about thermal protection. We don't want to burn. And then there is the docking technology. We want to go and dock with the capsule. So here again, it's about control, it's about navigation, it's about guidance, uh, it's about sensor suite. So the combustion temperature can be higher than 3000 degrees Celsius. So we have very high uh, pressure loads, very high thermal loads. So we want the trust to be uh, as good as we want. We want the efficiency to be very high. We are sending stuff to space. We want it to be as light as possible to make it affordable. So combining all of these factors can be quite challenging. Propulsion is number one problem. Then the second challenge is more on the, on the re-entry side, uh, where we need to make sure we guide properly the vehicle. And uh, the, third, the third one, as we're mentioning, is really the docking. All of these things are very complex to model, and not all of the softwares can do it and can do it well. And ANSYS does all of this uh, in just one software that is easy to use and that is also very accurate, which is exactly what we are looking for. This is super important to be able to simulate. Every time you test, again, it costs a lot of money. So we can simulate. This gives you a first understanding what the results are going to be. Then you test, you calibrate your model, then you simulate again. And then, you know, the more you test, the more the simulation becomes accurate. And then the less you then spend money on testing. And this is for us very useful. It enables us actually to mobilize our propulsion system, especially uh, the fluidics inside the propulsion. And uh, the way we work is that we model, we test, we model, we test, we model, we test. Very iterative, fast approach so that we can import very, very fast our model based on the results of the reality. The exploration company is a very fast growing startup. We will need more licenses, we will need to do more simulations, we need to develop more hardware, and all of this requires a software and uh, simulation tools and this is where ANSYS can come in, supply all of our needs, and together we can grow and develop innovative and affordable space capsules. We save a lot of time uh, in the way we can increase the efficiency and the accuracy of our models, so that has been uh, quite efficient. But it's really impressive to see how let's say, a big company uh, like you is partnering with startups. Your listening skills about the feedback that we can give to you, that's also highly appreciated.